Do you drive for Lyft? Did you recently get a notification saying that you had to take a 20 minute safety training program? And if you didn't, you wouldn't be able to drive? Well, I did. In this video, I'm going to tell you what that program is, what I think about it, and uh, what it means for you. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'll tell you whether I think this is a good thing or just a waste of your time. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. Thanks for taking a little bit of time here to learn about this uh, new program and we're gonna jump right in right now. So number one is, well, what is this program? So if you're like me, you got this on your phone. And as you can see, it says, <laughs> it says you'll need to comp complete 20 minutes of community safety education by December 15th to continue driving with Lyft. And you can see I got the little red notification there right above that little envelope. The next screen shows you the uh, how you get started. So you just push there on, on start. And then it tells you it's the Community Safety Education Program and that Lyft has worked in conjunction with RAIN, which is a leading anti-sexual violence organization in the United States. And as I go in through the program, I watched videos which were two to four minutes long. Here, uh, the first part was all about boundaries. You can see we all have different boundaries. Good intentions don't always guarantee a positive impact. Then you can see how they show a couple of questions like uh, it could be intrusive or not depending on who you're talking to. Am I taking you home? So you can see here how if I say that to a young woman, am I taking you home? She might think I'm perving on her and want to know if I'm taking her home because uh, I might want to pursue her. Whereas if I'm talking to a guy, I say I'm taking you home, and we're just, we're just talking. So let's look at some more of the course. So you can see here, this is something that a, a driver could say to a passenger. I'm not comfortable with how close you are to me, and Lyft doesn't allow touching of any kind. And uh, next, it gives you uh, what you can do as a driver. It says, as a driver, Lyft is your business, your car, and your choice. If the situation gets tough, you always have the ability to pull over somewhere safe, politely in the ride, and ask the passenger to leave your vehicle. So you can kind of get the gist of what this training program is about. It's all about how to be more um, uh, compassionate and gentle with your passengers. Don't ruffle feathers. Have the passengers feel safe in your car. And that's what this program is all about. Number two, what's the deadline? So it says in the app that the deadline is the 15th. And if you don't get it done by the 15th, then you will not be able to drive. It doesn't say you're going to be deactivated. It probably just means your app isn't going to work until you take this uh, course, which again only takes 20 to 30 minutes. So this raises some questions. Can Lyft legally have independent contractors do this? Can they basically hold us hostage like this? Well, the answer is obviously yes, they can. They're Lyft, they control the app, and if you don't kowtow to Lyft, you're not gonna be able to drive for them. So we're all gonna take this 20-minute uh, uh, training program and um, learn something, and if you don't do it, you're not gonna be able to drive for Lyft. So even though we're an independent contractor, you don't really have a choice. It would be nice if Lyft paid us to spend 20 to 30 minutes of our time when we're not driving, not making money, but instead we're taking this course. Now, some of our uh, readers and YouTube uh, fans have said that they were offered $5 uh, if they took the course and then got five five-star rides. So I didn't get that. I didn't get that offer and I looked at my pay statement and I didn't get the $5. So some people seem to be getting offered $5 and some people like me, I did not. Uh, but even then, five dollars for half an hour of your time—it's it's like it's like it's, like, <laughs> it's kind of kind of cheap. But uh, at least some of the drivers are getting some money. So number four, how effective are the videos? I say the videos are pretty damn excellent. Um, the presentation by the woman is great. I think they cover some great topics. You know, boundaries, sensitivity to your passengers, how to handle passengers that might be rude and, and abusive and aggressive. All good stuff. So I gotta say, I think I think um, the quality of the videos are great, and 
the fact that Lyft is making this available to us is a good thing. So key takeaways here, good on you Lyft. I say this is a good thing and this is definitely not a waste of time. I've seen some readers and, and YouTube fans say this was like common sense, but even so, it's always good to be reminded. You know, we can always go a little deeper with anything and, and getting a little more sensitive to your passengers will make you a better driver. Um, even if it is common sense, it's still refreshing to get into it and to think about these topics again. Um, it's kind of like every time I get a speeding ticket and I go to traffic school, uh, I know the rules, but it's good to hear them again because it just reminds me and it makes me a better driver. That's kind of how I took this, this program. And once you're done with this program, you're going to get an email, and the email makes a, a nice summary. Um, so in the course, you're going to learn how to read other people's boundaries, what's appropriate for an in-car conversation, how to avoid intrusive questions, and tips for diffusing a situation if you feel uncomfortable. So overall, I say Lyft, good for you. This is a good thing. And good on you for stepping out and doing something ahead of, ahead of Uber. Usually Lyft just follows Uber's lead, but in this case, Lyft is taking the lead, and I think that's a great thing. Hey, thanks very much for watching the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. If you got something to share about this training program that you got went through or you haven't gone through it yet, you got something to say, go ahead and leave us a comment. And by all means, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of the team. Uh, we put out content three or four times a week, and you'll stay up to date on everything that uh, Uber and Lyft are doing and other news within the rideshare industry. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. This is Jay Crater saying, be safe out there.